Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill with Sports Choice Plus, and I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. Why Baker Mayfield and his feelings? Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates each and every time we have breakdowns here at Sports Choice Plus. Looking at this morning on a social media post, I saw that Baker Mayfield was basically thanking the city of Cleveland, the state of Ohio, and all of their fans that have been loyal to him for the last four years since being drafted out of the University of Oklahoma, number one overall pick. Baker Mayfield, May, Baker Mayfield has had an interesting journey as an NFL quarterback. You look at Kevin Stavansky, who is now the head coach, who <laughs> the writing's on the wall. They went down yesterday and they took a private jet, the Cleveland Browns owner's private jet, down to, to go basically pitch Deshaun Watson on taking his no trade clause away and making a deal to get him to become a Cleveland Brown. And it's public flirtation. You look at just exactly what Baker Mayfield has done. He's had an 11-game stretch. And this is possibly the best 11-game stretch you can see of his young quarterback career. But that's it. If you look at him having the lights of Kareem Hunt around him, not being able to do anything. Him having Jarvis Landry around him. Austin Hooper. Uh, Odell Beckham. He's had a plethora of talented guys around him. From the running back position to the wide receiver position to the tight end position, the Browns have had a lot of talented guys around him, and nothing has seemed to pan out to work. It is always somebody else's fault. So you know what the Cleveland Browns are doing? They are going out and trying to find if Deshaun Watson can come help them. Because at this point, the Browns are a laughing stock for a franchise, but Baker Mayfield, most importantly, isn't that great of a quarterback either. You got to think, he's gotten away with a lot of different things. And the Browns, you got to think, have moved hell on earth to make sure that he's gotten weapons. They moved hell on earth to make sure he's gotten different playmakers around him that when they get the ball, they're making plays. But at some point in time, it's just not getting it. And you don't know what what's left. So with this message that he put on social media, he said that it has no hidden meaning but he sees the writing on the wall. He sees the forest from away from the trees, away from the forest. He can stand back and say, you know what? If I'm their quarterback, why are they going to look at another quarterback? Why are they going to look at that quarterback who's better than me? You know, because let's just face it, even though all the allegations and stuff like this, now that Deshaun Watson is not facing any criminal charges, everybody's in the bidding to say, hey, if you don't have a quarterback named Patrick Mahomes, Justin Herbert, Joe Burrow, uh, Lamar Jackson, if you don't have one of those guys, then everybody's all in on this. So you're looking at the Panthers, Saints, Browns, and, a, and the Atlanta Falcons, possibly some other teams that's in there that we just don't hear about, trying to, to get Deshaun Watson's services. So I think that right now, Baker, you know, he sees the writing on the wall. And at the end of the day, if he played better, this wouldn't have been a situation. He, they, the Browns would not really be interested in another quarterback. But right now, you know, Baker hasn't really played that well. So what do you guys think? Do you think Baker has a gripe to be in his feelings? Do you think he shouldn't? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus for all the updates and breakdowns. And as always, we thank you so very much. We'll see you on the next video.